Rajiv was traveling from Guwahati to Bangalore in train. He met Harsha on the same train and they became good friends. They started talking on different topics in Hindi. Suddenly Harsha's phone rang and he started talking in English over the phone. Rajiv was surprised because Harsha was talking so fluently. Harsha was so clear with his English. He was using so many different English words. Rajiv wanted to learn the same. So, after Harsha disconnected the call, the call got over, he asked Harsha how he learned English so nicely. Harsha smiled and said, I have a 30 minutes plan for you. If you follow this 30 minutes study routine, you can become like me. So let us discuss this 30 minutes daily routine. So my name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. If you like this video, please do subscribe. The 30 minutes daily routine starts with Words are all around us, from the chocolate wrapper, to the biscuit cover, to the billboard, newspapers, anywhere. What you need to do? Pick up one new word and try to remember that word. Take just five minutes to learn that word. Also, you can subscribe to daily email. Merriam-Webster Learner's Dictionary which has useful words for English learners. Also, one more thing is that when you are watching videos, suppose you are watching a native speaker who is speaking, you will come across so many different types of words. They will be using so many different words when they will be speaking. They will be using common words, they will be using formal words, complicated words, easy words, slang words. These words have one thing in common. They are all words that are used by native speakers. Okay, so I have one exercise for you. Five minutes vocabulary word exercise. First, get a blank paper or a blank board. I'm using this board. Choose a vocabulary word to learn. Okay. I have chosen the word frozen. Now write the vocabulary word in the center. Divide the paper into four parts. On the top left write the meaning of the word. Got it? On the top right write a sentence using that word. Good. Then what you have to do in the bottom left write synonyms or the similar meaning words. Okay. Synonyms are different words that have the same meaning. On the bottom right okay, you need to write the different forms of the word. Try to understand when you would use these forms. Now you can use this word during your day conversation. When you do conversation you can try using this word. Next comes Phrases are just as important as single words. If you learn a single word, you will be able to say, how are you? But if you are learning the phrases also, you can say in a different way, what's up? How are you doing today? You can find phrases on different websites. One website I can tell you is that English Daily. 
which has a huge list of English phrases and idioms. You can also check Phrase Mix, which has many lessons about more common English phrases, which are available for free. Let me share with you few English phrases which are used on a daily basis. English phrases for introducing yourself and making friends. So these are the seven which I have figured it out. Just go through it. Everyday English phrases. Got it? So you can try learning this. Next comes Take a deep breath and try to learn little at a time. Don't run after too many things. You will fall down. You will not learn properly. So take a small thing and try to learn that. Choose one grammar rule to learn each day. You might be surprised at how much better you remember things when you learn them one at a time. There are plenty of websites that gives very short and clear explanation of English grammar rules. One good source is 5 Minute English. There are many websites like this. You can browse in Google, you will find it out. Whichever you find best, you can try and study from there. Okay, I have one thing in my mind. Let me share with you one grammar game. Okay, it's similar to the Rami. Here, player takes turns picking up and putting down cards until they can build a sentence that is grammatically correct and makes sense. The winner of the game is the first person to build three sentences or one trump card sentence. Let's see this video. Got it? Let's move on now. Reading newspaper is very important. It not only helps you to learn the language, it also keeps you up to date with the news. And if you are talking to people, you have so many things in your mind. What happened today? What's going on around the world? You can have a conversation with different people. You will never run out of any news or any word. Find some news which interests you. As for me, I read the speaking tree from the Times of India. Almost every day I read that. I love the articles. So you can choose anything of your choice and try to read that every day for 10 minutes. There are many websites with news articles. Voice of America has articles which is very easy to understand. I have a 10 minutes news, reading and speaking exercise for you. So what you have to do here is find a news article that interests you. Number two, scan the article for words you don't know and find their definition, find their meaning. This means you should look through the article without actually reading every word. Then, read the article. Did you understand at least the basic idea of the article? Explain out loud what the article was about, as if you were talking to someone about it. Got this point? Try it out. Let's move on to the next one. In just less than half an hour time, you have learned new words. You have learned new phrases, grammars, you have read newspapers also. So this last five minutes is very important. The last five minutes is for reviewing what you have read for the past 25 minutes. Okay, you just need to revise and just recall what you have done. Just see, do you actually remember what you studied? 
So I have a five minutes review exercise for you. What you have to do here is, when you go to the exercise, do everything out loud to practice speaking. Write everything down on paper to practice writing. You can also quickly review it in your head. Number two, use the new vocabulary word in a sentence. Next, use the new phrase which you have learned in a sentence. Use the grammar rule you learned in the sentence. Summarize the article you have read in the sentence. So all this takes 30 minutes daily. My dear friends, it's not easy to learn some language, a new language. At the same time, it is not tough also. If you are disciplined, if you are punctual, if you have decided that you will make the change, you will show the world that you can also do something, then this is not difficult for you. Take out 30 minutes every day, whenever you can, and go through this routine. I am sure you will benefit. Any question for me? Please write in the comment. I am always there for you. Till the next video, thank you so much.